Welcome to our Nova School video series. This is Marvin from Novapool, and in this video, you will learn about the origins of Cardano blockchain, how it is different to other blockchains, and what is it trying to achieve in the future. Cardano is an open source, decentralized public blockchain that uses proof-of-stake consensus algorithm Ouroboros. This allows its network to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions at a very low energy consumption in contrary to a proof-of-work protocol, like Bitcoin. Cardano's native currency is ADA. Its maximum supply is capped at 45 billion. Currently, there are 75% of it in circulation. ADA can be subdivided into 1 million lovelaces. The project started in 2015 as a result of Charles Hoskinson leaving Ethereum. Charles and Vitalik Buterin, another co-founder of Ethereum, had a dispute about the future of the blockchain. After leaving Ethereum, Charles co-founded IOG, former IOHK, Cardano Foundation, and Emergo. IOG develops the technology, the Cardano Foundation is responsible for supervising development and promoting Cardano, while Emergo drives commercial adoption. This allows a better control and handling of all that is happening with the project. These three entities are operating together as custodians. When the network is fully decentralized and the governance tools are in place, the protocol will belong to the community, which will decide on its future. Cardano is a layer one blockchain. That means it can verify operations without other networks. Its peer-reviewed academic approach and the choice of functional programming language at its core has drawn a lot of criticism from the crypto community and made the development a very slow process. Many view it as a flaw, while some recognize its potential to be one of the most stable and rigorously programmed blockchains out there. Only time will tell who is right. Let's take a bit of a closer look at its roadmap. The Cardano Roadmap is a summary of Cardano development, which has been organized into five eras – Byron, Shelley, Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire. Each era is centered around specific functionalities that will be delivered through multiple code releases. Each era is built upon each other, but the work on it happens in parallel. The Byron era is the first phase of deployment. It started with the initial coin offering in 2017. At that time, users could only buy and sell ADA coins. A full node wallet Daedalus and a light wallet Yoroi were created. Its main goal was to lay down the foundation and build a strong community to help people get involved in creating the blockchain of the future. Following the Byron era, Shelley era was designed to achieve a smooth and low-risk transition to the decentralization of the network without service interruptions. Staking was introduced, a process where newly created blocks would give rewards in the form of ADA and thus incentivize the network operation by running nodes. IOHK, who ran most of the nodes, has gradually handed the block production to the stake pool operators. Now, there are over 3,000 pools which are being managed by individual entities, small and big companies, and different exchanges. Current prominent blockchains are often controlled by less than 10 mining pools, exposing them to serious risk of compromise by malicious behavior, something which Cardano avoids with the system inherently designed to encourage greater decentralization. With the integration of smart contracts, the Gogan era was initiated. Within this era, several major updates have been implemented. One of them was the introduction of native assets on Cardano. In contrast to Ethereum, these assets are not bound to smart contracts and have the same status as its main coin, ADA. This was intended by design to be so, as Cardano aims to introduce Babel fees in the future, which will allow users of the network to pay the transaction fees with different native tokens and not just with ADA. Gogan introduced different tools, such as Marlow, to make the development on the blockchain more accessible to a wider audience. 
Marlowe is a high-level domain-specific language, or DLS, which comes with the Marlowe Playground, an easy-to-use application-building platform that non-programmers can use to build financial contracts. In late 2022, the Vazel update was implemented, reducing the cost of executing smart contracts and the size of transactions, increasing dramatically the speed of the entire ecosystem. Basho is the fourth and current stage of the Cardano development. It's aimed to maximize scalability and interoperability, improving the underlying performance of the network to better support growth and adoption for applications with high transaction volume. A key feature of this era is the introduction of sidechains like the privacy sidechain Midnight. This allows Cardano to transfer loads from the main chain and allows even better scaling. During the Basho era, new account models will be developed. The UTXO model will still be used as a primary model, but the transition to other accounts will be available, which will have a positive impact on the interoperability. This is the final stage of Cardano's roadmap, and it will provide the last pieces required for the network to become a self-sustaining system. With the introduction of voting and a treasury system, network participants will be able to use their stake and voting rights to influence the future development. Developers are encouraged to participate and introduce their improvement proposals. Everyone plays a role in creating a truly decentralized and people-driven network. And that's it for this video. If you want to see more Cardano-related content, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new videos in the future. See you in the next epoch!